Hello everyone, how are you today? So, for the past two days, we've been learning about measuring capacity, the liquid volume. We're measuring liquids in meters and milliliters. Today, we will be learning about mass, how to measure and estimate the mass of an object. Let's first understand what is mass. Mass is the amount of matter or material in an object. One metric unit of mass is the kilogram. Let's take a look at these items we have here. We have 400 pennies or halalas, a baseball bat, and a dictionary book. So, all these three items are big items. We measure them in kilograms. All of them have a mass of about one kilogram. So, just a quick hint. So, when we're measuring liquid, we measure the capacity of this liquid. When we measure objects, we calculate the mass of the object. That's the difference between capacity and mass. Remember, it's a hands-on lesson, so let's do an activity to together. Let's find three objects and estimate whether each weigh less than, about, or more than one kilogram. We will write the name of the objects and then we will estimate. I have three objects for you. I have a tennis ball, a football, and a jam jar. What do you think? The tennis ball, is it less than, about, or more than one kilogram? I would say it might be about one kilogram, just like the baseball. What about the football? Oh, the football, it looks bigger than the tennis ball. So it's, it actually might be more than one kilogram. What about the strawberry jam? Oh, this, the jar, the, the strawberry jam jar, it's so heavy when it's new. I think it's also more than one kilogram. Now, our second step is to place we will not place eight rolls of pennies on one side we will place one kilogram on one side of the scale and we'll place our objects that we collected over here on the other side of the scale and let's see whether the measurement is actual as the as we said our actual measurement we will measure it now we will see is it less than about or more than one kilogram Let's take a look here. Let's put one kilogram on one side of the scale and the tennis ball on the other side. Oh, actually the tennis ball is less than one kilogram. So here we're gonna go back to our activity and we will write it's less than one kilogram. Let's go and check the football. Is the football more than, less than or about Oh, although the football looks bigger, it's still less than one kilogram. Also, the football is less than one kilogram. Our final testing is the jam jar. Let's see. Let's place one kilogram on one side of the scale and the strawberry jam on the other side. The strawberry jam is also less than one kilogram. Now, I want you to go around your house and find something, find an object that is more than one kilogram. And remember, send me on class dojo. Now, let's learn another metric unit of mass, which is gram. Remember when we discussed the measuring capacity, we said one liter is equal to 1000 milliliters. Now, it's the same with grams and kilograms. One kilogram is equal to 1000 grams now what does one gram feel like these items shown here are items that has a mass of about one gram a paper clip and a base 10 cubes both of them they are about Let's one an activity together what does one gram feel like we will find three objects and we will estimate their mass and then we will write the actual amount. I have also
also three objects for you, which are a die, a battery, and a toy. Now, what do you think? A die, is it less than, about, or more than one gram? I think a, a die is so light. I think it would be less than one gram. What about a battery? A battery, it's a bit heavier. I think it's about one gram. What do you think of a toy? A toy, would it be one gram? Less than, about, or more than one gram? A toy is bigger than a battery, so I think it would be more than one gram. Our second step is measuring the actual amount of each of the following items. Are they less than, about, or more than one gram? Let's start with the die. Let's place one gram in, in one place in the scale and the die in the other place. Oh, the die is actually more than one gram. So here, let's go back to the activity and write that is more than. Let's go to the battery. Let's check the battery. Is the battery more than, about, or less than one gram? Oh, the battery is also more than one gram. What about the toy? Let's check it out. Is the toy less than, more than, or equal to one gram? The toy is also more than one gram. What does this tell us? It tells us that one gram is a very small amount. It's not a big item, even a die, a small die. It weighs more than one gram. Let's open page 647 in our book and solve the first two questions together. The question is asking you to circle the better unit to measure each mass. Number three is a toothbrush. Is a toothbrush measured in grams or kilograms? Remember, as we discussed, a kilogram is a huge amount. It was bigger than a tennis ball. It was bigger than um, jam jar and it was bigger than a football. So do you think the toothbrush, we will measure it in grams or kilograms? Yes, we will measure it in grams. What about a television? A TV is very big. Will we measure it in grams or kilograms? Yes, we will measure it in kilograms. Now, go and finish the rest of the page by yourself and send me a picture of your work. And you have any, if you have any questions, you can always send me on Class Dojo. Talk to you tomorrow.